The most important ectoparasite in the United States in poultry is the northern foul mite. Uh, the northern foul mite becomes a problem in winter. Uh, usually we start to see it in December through March. Uh, it's about one millimeter in length. It has long legs, an oval body. Depending on whether it has just fed or not, the color varies from white to gray to black. The life cycle of this mite takes from five to 12 days. That's from an egg all the way to the adult. It spends its entire life on one host, unless it gets uh, knocked off or something like that, and it can survive for a period of three to four weeks off the host. Clinical signs that we typically see are going to be some scabby areas on the skin, maybe some crusty uh, dried blood, that type of lesion. You're gonna usually see it around the vent. If you'll part the feathers in that area and look at the skin, that's where we'll usually find this mite. You may actually be able to see it uh, crawling around or it may actually crawl on your own uh, hands and bite you. The mite is transmitted from uh, bird to bird. Uh, it's in the environment because it's common in wild birds. It can be found on rats. So it's not like if you have backyard chickens that your chickens are not going to be exposed to this mite. There are several treatments that are approved. Uh, I would contact a veterinarian and talk with them about what's best for you. If you're into organic production, uh, the University of California uh, entomology department there has just done a study a few years ago about the use of sulfur in bags. Uh, they place the sulfur in bags tied into in the pens and allow these chickens to bump up again that, against that bag and it releases that sulfur onto their body and it has uh, good efficacy. It controls the mites real well. If you'd like some more information about the northern fowl mite and chickens, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.